Hey everyone, the new PlayStation VR 2 is out, so figured I'd show it because I know I always like watching unboxing videos. It just had like a sticker and some tape holding this top open, and then I ripped these corners up so that way I can pull it out easier. So the second box it has like I assume it's supposed to have like tape right here, but as you can see it was like it seemed like someone opened it already or something happened to that sticker. I I didn't open that. It was just like that when I got it. Anyways, in the box is another box. And it's a Type-C cable back up for something. Maybe to charge the controllers or something. And some earbuds, which are going to plug into the headset and the manual. I mean, they're just regular earbuds. They can uh, lock into the headset, which is pretty cool. So, let's get back to the big package. Um... I was going to grab the headset, but figured I'd get a controller first. So here's a controller. It's very circular. Um, It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if the circular thing adds anything, but uh, I mean, I didn't have no problem sticking my hand through. It only has a circle and an X, and uh, R1 is on the side right there. And has a Type-C. has a trigger, Um, and it has this cool strap. It, uh, if you've seen their unboxing video on their channel you can just kind of put your hand in there and then you can like twist your wrist and it'll tighten it and you can see it tightens it like all the way it tightens it pretty good it didn't feel like it was going to go anywhere and then yeah I don't know you, I got used to it right away it was cool and then you just pull it from the top and then loosen the strap and you can just take it off real easy So it has this uh, really long cable. I measured it. It's about 14 feet, I want to say. Um, it was... I didn't measure it, like, from the headset. I didn't want to put it on the floor. But, yeah, I got I got over 13 feet. Or about uh, 420 centimeters. But, yeah, it, it was long, so... And you can see some buttons. So there's a power button. And then that looks like a speaker or something or a vent. And that one is a function button. That'll be used to change from like game view and like your camera so you can see around you since this thing has four cameras on the front now. Looks like some uh, very futuristic stuff. It looks cool. Two PlayStation logos, the Sony uh, thingy right there. Has like vents next to the Sony logo. I skipped the manual as you've seen so I didn't know what that left button was but that is to move the visor like more outward or inward like closer to your face basically and then this will be to move the lenses inside the headset so right here you can see yeah if i'm using the the dial you can move them like i don't know i guess if your eyes are further apart or whatever you can you can adjust all that so during the setup it actually shows you what that button does so yeah you just hold it and you can move the visor like Closer to your face, further from your face, whatever you're more comfortable with. So it has like this knob on the back and that's to tighten it. And then if you press it, you'll pull this strap like outward so you can fit your head around it. So yeah, I don't know how big people's heads are, uh, but hopefully it fits yours. So you can plug in the little earbuds that came with on the bottom of the strap and they just lock in and then it has these little holders for the earbuds themselves so they're not just dangling from your head it's kind of pop in it's actually really cool so do you have to plug in the ginormous cable it came with you just it's just a single cable you just plug in that one cable into your console although i have mine behind my monitors and i can't reach so i have to go behind my desk real quick maybe i need like a gopro that way i don't gotta hold the camera while trying to plug this thing in while behind my desk so once it's plugged into your console it'll have a red light and then you can press the power button and turn it on and since it's plugged in it'll recognize it and you can set it up so now i set it up and it really didn't take that long. Like literally, see, it's done already. But now it'll pop up another thing. And it shows a, shows a headset icon right there. 
Oh yeah, it'll pop up this. It says get started. So just start setting it up. Well, we already did that. So let's go. Um, okay, so you just got to plug in from your console the Type-C cable into the controllers and then pair them up. And it's super simple. I like the walkthrough. Like once it knows it's plugged in, it tells you to just press the PlayStation button and then they're paired. So then you just grab the other controller and do the same. So it just kind of warns you, like, make sure you have enough room. And I honestly don't have too much room. So I, I do set it up in standing mode, but I just change it to city mode before I start playing anything just to be safe. So now we can finally put on the headset and just check the brightness. And yeah, I don't know. It seemed, seemed like I was okay on brightness. I guess I have a lamp on or your light. These next steps are just going to show you the, like, pull out the visor, pull out the head strap, basically just telling you to put it on and just make sure it's comfortable. Okay, so now this part gave me a few issues. Um, Everything, not everything, but some of it, it was kind of blurry, right? So really adjust the dial. And then um, for me, I had to make sure, I, I ended up not having the knob tightened all the way. So... I don't know. I don't want you guys to hurt your head. It didn't hurt me. So what I can recommend was turn that knob as much as you can, like as tight as you can do it. It didn't hurt my head. It just made it feel super secure. But yeah, I just really had to make sure it was tight. And once I tightened that, the last thing I was missing was it was like I could see out of one eye. I would close one eye and it's like, oh, okay, I can see with this eye. I would close the other eye and I could see that eye. And then I do wear glasses, so I was, like, worried. I was like, hmm, maybe it's not working because my glasses, like, I can't track my eyes through my glasses. But the last thing that helped me to where I could see good, like, nothing was blurry, was um, I had to lower the, the visor part. I just had to lower that, like, more down my face. Like, I guess it was too high up on my forehead. So once I lowered it, it finally started working. I could see it wasn't blurry. So, yeah, that's the best advice I can give. So yeah, just really mess with it. If, like I said, I think the best thing to do is if you can see out of one eye, you'll be able to see out of both eyes. Just try both eyes individually, close one, try the other. Uh, that just means you just got to move it or position it on your face correctly. So once you have that set up, um, it goes into this and you can see everything. You can see everything with the cameras on the front. It's pretty crazy. Um, as far as I know, I don't think the last one had that. I did try that one out once, but... um. Yeah, it, it highlights your controllers, so it's it's so weird, man. Like, I don't know, it's I love it, it's cool. But I just put them back down because I want to put them on with the wrist strap, right? Which I recommend. I mean, these things are, I don't know how expensive the controllers are, but I'm guessing they ain't cheap. If Sony, if the regular PlayStation one, they're like 70 bucks, it's like, I'd rather not drop this. So just make sure you strap them in. And you can do that wrist, wrist technique, which is super cool. Um... And yeah, so we got them on. So just walks you through what the buttons do. You can use analog to move. You can use circle for back or cancel stuff. X to select has R1, L1 and R2, L2. And the options button and the create button. And then it tells you right here. It's kind of hard to see maybe if, because uh, I mean, like I could see it through the headset, but if you hold the options button, um, you can reorient yourself. And so now we got to do the eye tracking. Okay, so this part, you just, you don't got to press anything. Just keep following those dots with your eyes like it instructed you to. And you should be good. Um, I've never used eye tracking technology, but it seems cool so far. And so now we got to set up a play area. Like I said, I don't have enough room or a lot of room. So I did backtrack on this part afterwards. But yeah, you would just look around 
and kind of scan your room. I mean, it takes a bit. You got to let it kind of learn your whole room layout. But uh, yeah, just keep looking around. It'll let you know when you're done eventually. For some reason, uh, the capture card started recording with like this border around it once it scanned the room. So yeah, the rest of the footage is going to have a border, I think. Ooh, this part was cool. So if you look down at the floor, it'll see your floor height. And yeah, like it's always so cool because like you look down and it's like, whoa, what the heck? What's all that? But uh, yeah, you go down and you can see it thought the floor was a little higher. So you just press your controller lightly against the floor and then it'll know where the floor is. And so here I press standing, but uh, yeah, it like lets you scan your play area. And yeah, it's like, it's like your area is too small. You can't do this. So I was like, oh man, I could probably make it work. I just got to move some stuff around me so to set up your play area just look down you're gonna see the, all these symbols on the floor and just hold l2 or r2 inside the play area and then you can just kind of extend it that way and then to make it smaller point outside of the area and then hold it and then you'll go in like negative mode and yeah i was like wait why am i putting the safe area like under my desk i'm not be, i'm not gonna be going under it so i made sure to shorten it so yeah just until you have everything that's safe to like stand by, right? Just just set it till you're comfortable. And yeah, it's like, oh, uh, you don't got no room. So I was like, oh, okay, set anyways. And then it like traps you in this prison of your own making and then uh, you can never escape again. No, but uh, I just end up changing it. So when you're done with this setup, it um, shows you like a little intro video. And then I think it takes you to like the PlayStation menu, but uh, the capture card was all black during this next part. Like, I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't show it on the capture card. So I'll just skip ahead. So, um, after that intro video, you can, like, I was able to record again normally. And so I went to accessories because, yeah, I, I didn't have much room for standing, sadly. At least uh, not until I moved some stuff. But I was going to move it to sitting. And so I wasn't really sure how to do it. I couldn't find it in the settings. So what I did was I just clear. I just, I just set the play area again. You're just going to scan everything once again. And then at the end of that you'll be able to pick whether you want to sit or stand. So I just pick sitting this time. But yeah, if you want to change it, that's how you just got to scan your room again real quick. And so, yeah, it'll just uh, lock you up again back in VR prison. But uh, yeah, the boundaries are cool so because they let you know if you're going to go out of them or not. Okay, so I downloaded the VR demo for Resident Evil. Although I do have the full game. I should have just probably tried that. But I figured the demo would give me like a tutorial like this. Right, so we can reset our viewpoint, which that seems useful. Now if we get like turned around, right? And God, it's just kind of weird. Whoa! The <laughs> and I felt like I felt like I was gonna bump my head into a door. Here we go. Okay, so a gun. Uh, eject magazine. That, oh, okay. So yeah, it just teleports. I guess you can drop your gun on the floor. That's cool. And I dropped it again. And I dropped it again. Okay, I gotta get used to this, okay? So I gotta grab the gun, grab the ammo, and then like cock it back, or whatever you call it. I've only been shooting like once. I mean, it's pretty cool. I can like grab, grab the gun with both hands. Okay, this feels, this feels pretty good. It's pretty awesome aiming like this. Okay, grab the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Oh, okay, it's here on the table again. And then, yeah, okay, it teleports me back over here. Where, where is it? It's on my back? I can't, I can't look on my back. Ah, okay. Go, mm. Ah, okay, oh, I can kind of reload kind of fast. And I dropped it. Just keep grabbing it off my back. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Grab it. Ah, oh. Ah, okay. Okay, this is really cool. I have shot a shotgun before, but like, 
So it obviously doesn't feel the same as a real gun, but I mean, this is way cooler than like this regular haptic feedback on a controller. Okay, so let's try out this sniper. See how long it takes me to learn this one. Okay, this one's on my hip, like my handgun. So all my ammo's on my left side, I guess. And I gotta try and grab this lever. Yeah, okay, I'm like bumping into my other controller, so it's a little weird. And I, gotta, I, gotta, I really gotta get used to holding the, the R1. Wow, that feels so good. And... Oh wow, I gotta do the lever every time. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna die so much. Lever. <laughs> okay, grab it again. Aiming down the scope with this thing is so cool. If you find aiming difficult, and it may help to enable gunplay assist features, blah, blah, blah. Disabled, no. Okay, well, I wanna, I wanna know what it is, so I'll, I'll try it. Okay, shooting it with one hand feels pretty good. Oh, okay. So this is made for people like me who are bad at reloading guns. Okay, cool. Although it's kind of fun doing the reload animation on my, on my own. Wow, yeah, it even does the lever. Okay, I might. I, want, I wonder. It'd be cool if I can, like, turn it on for the sniper at least. And then I'll do the shotgun and the handgun. <laughs> but I need help with the sniper, please. Ooh, what's this? Punching? Punching training? Make a fist? Oh, ah, I got you guys. Okay, fist. Right, so bobbing and weaving. And, ah, ow, Jesus. I thought I was doing punching training, not blocking training. I guess I'm doing both, right? Um, okay. Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you gotta do more than a little love tap. You can't just, like, connect. You gotta actually put, like, some force into it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Forget you heal on this one with water or whatever. You just drop it on your arm. So, okay. Oh, well, I'm glad there's always someone behind my back to give me all these items, at least. Okay, so, if I remember, yes. Okay, so I just drop it on my arm. That's cool. So... Grab my jacket. I don't have anything. Wait. Uh, grab your jacket with R1. That one, pull forward. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hmm, okay, so like, is that my inventory in this game? Oh man, it's so dark in here. Hold on, I got a flashlight. Okay, the vibe, the vibe just got super creepy right now. <laughs> the atmosphere changed like instantly. Dude, who is like yanking out fuses in Resident Evil like all the time? They're just taking fuses and they're not putting them back. It's just going to be like somewhere random. Okay, so I found some boxes, but... I don't have any weapons. All my weapons disappeared. I was just, I just had them a room ago. I want to punch this, but I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to punch my monitor <laughs> in the face. I can't reach this or something. They're like, I don't have my knife. I think I need my knife. Okay, so after the tutorial, it just throws you into like the beginning of the game. And it is so freaking dark. Uh, okay. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, right. I forget all these dead birds in the beginning. Can I pick it up? I can't pick it up. 
I mean, you shouldn't pick it up. Actually, you don't don't be picking up dead birds. Seriously though, like who took the time? I'm like bobbing and weep these birds. Like who took all the time to uh, just crouch to hang on to see that? Okay. Now they need to scare me, honestly. Okay, so finally have a light. Uh, I still don't have anything. Wait, is this another crash car? Uh, wait. Is this just... How the heck did I get turned around? When did I turn around? Okay, so somehow I made a 180 somewhere along the line. So now I'm... Ah, gonna go past all those birds again. How to... I don't even know how that happened. I am officially bad at VR. Okay, finally, a clearing. The yes, the castle. Okay, I'm officially good at VR now. God, this looks so cool. Ooh, man, this horse is huge. Um, I can't pet it. Mmm, leftovers, uh... Thanks, Grandma. Uh, I ate before I got here. I'm not gonna eat that. Maybe, maybe later. Cutscene. No, no. Jesus. Friendly. Friendly. Right. Okay. Who are you? Okay. I remember what happened. It's been a while since I played this, so it's like. An the and then I don't know. It's in VR. It feels. Like, it actually feels like a new game. It's kind of cool. Oh. Ew. Um. You don't taste very good. He just stuck his fingers in my mouth and then walked away. Oh, no. Not cool, Grandpa. Not cool. It's a little weird not being able to move my hands in the cutscene. Can move the camera at least. Yo, Grandpa, giving me the gun again. Hooking it up. Okay, don't worry, Grandpa. We're gonna make it. Everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Uh, what? Dude, uh, Grandpa? Grandpa, uh... Drop the shotgun. Uh, Grandpa, I think you have a leak in your roof. Oh, whoa. Um, okay, that was kind of... The jump scare didn't really get me because... I don't know, the camera like turned black and then like I was kind of not even paying attention to that direction. Oh my god. Wait, there's more. Uh, right. Okay, I can move. Oh my god, can you like be dead like over here? Thank you. Jesus Christ. You know, I really wish I could see my legs. I need VR for my legs. What the hell is wrong with this place? Good. Uh, right. I didn't get scared. Wait. Okay, that's so creepy. That's so freaking creepy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, the haptic feedback here. <laughs> I feel like he's literally biting my fingers off. Man, Ethan is like a Star Wars character. His hand just can't catch a break. Alright, this is where all my training comes in. Watch this, watch this. Look at that. Headshot, headshot. That was a headshot, headshot. Uh, hey, stop moving. Headshot. Look at him, he's crawling away. You know what? The old fisty cuffs. Okay. Okay, uh, I gotta do something? Uh, okay, so no fisty cuffs. Give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun, give me the gun. Give me the gun, grab it. Uh, reload. Okay, uh, wait. Oh my god. Okay. so much different it's crazy all right so go in here grab the bolt cutters press square to view key items uh okay so i do have an inventory still go to my key items okay so i have the bolt cutters in there and then okay so it looks like i equip stuff on my clothes in the on the left side of that menu uh oh my god Jesus, that looks so gnarly, man. The ring, like, how's the ring still on there? 
This is so... <laughs> okay, the detail in VR is insane. At least I still got my good end. Wait. Is that, is that wasting my bullets? No. Wait, can I... No. <laughs> okay, this is kind of fun. It's, I don't know. This shouldn't be this fun, but it is actually really fun. I don't know why. Right, so bolt cutters on this gate. Okay, so I grab them like that. I was like checking my inventory like a dummy. Okay, the demo just ends there. Um, wow, I, I ended up doing like a demo playthrough. I didn't even mean to do that. It's on a show to VR. But I mean, it was fun. The uh, The haptic feedback like during some of the scenes when uh the wolves were in the house or whatever you could like feel it because the headset will vibrate and then uh, shooting the guns is super fun and the reloading is is cool i gotta get used to that i, would, I don't want the easy mode on i want i want to reload on my own and i remember liking resident evil 8 but like i said playing this in vr it feels like a new game and it's so immersive and it's actually super scary and you see, you just see how physically big some of the stuff is in here and it's it's terrifying the stuff ethan's going through is like wow it's it's freaky anyways thanks for watching